Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is the uh, day 14 of the May Leco Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. And today's problem is going to be flattened binary tree to linked list. Um, uh, I mean, eh, it's okay. Uh, modify root in place instead. Um, I was going to say that oh, my computer messed up a little bit. Um, hmm. what was I going to say? I was going to say, yeah, there is like, you know, things you can do, but mm, with, uh, what's it, what's it called? Um, the Morris traversal, uh, I'll, I'll let, let I'll, I'll, it's not a link, but, but it's something that you can Google, but I, I have never used it before, to be honest. I know that a lot of people ask me questions about it. And I'm like, I never used it never needed it it's it's such a trivia and what i mean by that is just like either you know it or you don't and, or like i don't know i don't find it that interesting and so i never really bother learning it to be honest but um but you know uh if you want to learn it it's fun and i'm sure i don't know i i think i take the risk of the one percent of the maybe even less of the interviews that i don't get or something like that um and in competitive, it just never comes up because why would you need to do this? Um, but anyway, let's take a look. So find it. I mean, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this just becomes an in order traversal. Uh, just with that, you have to do things in place. So I think for me, and I haven't done a similar, at least not in place, because in place is a little bit weird. Uh, in general but so you get to see me do it but in concept if you you know if, if you can use all of n space and extra space is a little bit weird especially if you do uh recursion because eh, you know stack space and stuff like that but ignoring all that for a second and i i don't know maybe we can do a research afterwards but but yeah you just do um a, a depth first search oh sorry uh um a, uh in an in order is it in order Oh, pre-order. Okay. I mean, in this case, it's pre-order, but you ju just do a traversal of the binary tree. And huh, so actually, maybe Morris is, doesn't apply here because it's pre-order. So I misread that. That's my apologies. Um, but, but yeah, it's just going to be recursive. Right? And with recursion... You know, there, there are a couple of things to do. One is see if you can think about itself in terms of itself, um, which is, I guess, what recursion means. But another is just fi finding out the invariant that exists in this problem as you try to do things one at a time. And, okay. And a pre-order means that, you know, mm, when you do a recursion, what do you want... You know, there are two things to do, right? Um, well, it's a little bit awkward because I personally don't like side effects and functions, um, depending on the context, but for the most part. So, but in this case, we might have to consider it to kind of get it in one function. Maybe we can have a helper function. Maybe not because of pre -order. I actually don't know that much about Morris Traverso, so maybe it still works with pre-order. So if that's the case, let me know in the comments. Uh, I, like I said, I, I, I think I just, I'm at that, um, experience and age where I just kind of refuse to learn trivia. Like, it, like I, I like problem solving. I like to learn uh, new problem solving techniques and stuff like that. But if it's something that is just like, hey, here's this one thing that will only you be used for like this really specific scenario, then uh, eh, I'm okay. Like in real life, you just Google it anyway, right? Um, so, I mean, and, and knowing the name is good enough sometimes. But in any case, uh, I rant too much about this. And I haven't even started coding yet. But yeah, so I'm just going to try to find... Okay. So pre-order, you go, you know, um, current, left, right. Um, and basically, the order we want to do is left is equal to... Um, we want to do current, left, right. So when we do a recursion, we want it to return the last node on that side. And, and that should be good enough, I think. Um, maybe. 
let's i mean it's gonna be a little bit awkward and i'm still filling out with you so if you don't understand it if it, it's okay i mean it, that that represents my current understanding and just as a reminder at this point if you don't know by now uh, i am solving these live so it's going to go a little bit slow uh, especially for this one which is maybe more implementation-y than algorithm -y. um then you know fast forward 2x skip ahead to the end or whatever you need to do but yeah so okay so now, uh, usually I write something like if node is none, we return none. But in this case, we actually want to do a little bit better. Um, basically, we want to do, we want to return leaves so that my, my what I want to do, and I'm not gonna. It might be a little bit hand wavy for now. Is return the last node in the pre order of this subtree, right? And the way that that um, this works is that because we're doing current uh, left right, which is the pre-ordered uh, traversal, um, and basically I want to do the the rightmost on the right, and then we want to connect that to the right, and so uh, and then so forth, right? So yeah, so hmm, so so there's gonna be a lot of if statements. So if this is a leaf, if this is a leaf, oops, uh, return. So if node dot left is none and node dot right is none oops return node i don't think we ever want to return none but let's see uh if if okay if node dot left is none well i mean okay that means that node dot right is not none, so then we just return pre order of node dot right. We have to do more magic here, but I'm just trying to figure out what we're returning in every case. And of course, if node dot right is, uh, maybe we could do it the other way actually. If node dot right is none, then we just actually return pre order of node dot left. Again, we might have to do some processing, but otherwise, then node dot right is not none, so we can reorder pre order uh, node dot right, right? So then now we have to actually do the linkage, right? If this is a leaf, we don't do any linking. If if the node that right is none, then we return this is going to be the last node on the left subtree. And and that means that we want to convert node that right is equal to and we might not return quite yet. We might actually have to set this up. Um but but because now node that right is one, none, we just actually sh just ship everything from the left side to the right side, just because um, I hope that makes sense. Because now you know that's just how, how the pre-order works anyway, so it doesn't change the pre-order traversal. Um, and of course, we have to kind of uh, let's get um, hmm, let's say uh, last node is equal to this thing. Let's do the pre-order first, and then now. Um, yeah, and then we can now return last node. I guess technically we can rephrase this a little bit better, but is that sufficient? I think so, because um, we also assume that pre-order already made everything. Um, so yeah, so that that's the side effect, and also this this function um, or converts the subtree into a linked list, right? With the last node as the return value. Um, and then yeah, and then this is the last node is you go to this because um, And in this case the, the node that left can be none or it doesn't have to be none. Oh, so actually we should check that as well um, hmm. So left last node is equal to pre-order of node that left um, So actually we have to check if node that left is None yeah, okay, let's do it this way. I mean, I know that there are overlaps in task um, in in the case analysis, but um, especially when I'm worrying about implementation, I just keep it stupid simple and and just keep the, and, and you know and figure it out first, and then we'll uh, return. So yeah, so we don't have to do anything because no that left is none. So actually, I guess we could have returned directly. Otherwise, both of these is going to be not none. So let's do this. And then now, 
left dot last node dot right is equal to the right last node because now we're connecting the last node to the right. Um, but before that, yeah, and by definition, this node is right is going to be none because this is the last node on the left. Um, and yeah, we have to do the same thing here, which is that um, node dot right is equal to node dot left. But before that, we have to do something with node dot right, right? And also, this is wrong because this this should be node dot right, something like that. I mean, we have to figure out the order of operations, but now we want to go yeah all the way to node dot le left dot um this so we have to do this first sorry i'm a little bit incoherent but basically what i would recommend if this is confusing is to kind of draw it out um i'm a little bit lazy right now and i'm doing it in my head that's why it's a little bit confusing but if you kind of draw out the trees you know you have the left last node and then now you and we assume that the node that left subtree is already in order. So now the last node, we want to point to the first node on the right sub node. So that's going to be this. Um, and yeah, and then node that, and then we want to do what we said earlier, which is this thing, and then no lot never go to none, and then we return right last node. I think that's roughly going to be it, to be honest. Um, and then now we just pre order uh, root, I think, and everything should be modified. I think I only worried about not doing anything enough. Um, I think by definition, this should this dot right should be none, and also dot left should be none. Yeah, let's let's give it a try. I mean, I'm not super confident yet, but you know, um, because this is easily way awkward. And, and that's the thing with case analysis sometimes is that, you know, sometimes you just forget a case and you're not exhaustive the way that you think you are. I think I am okay here. There are only four four possibilities, uh, but I could be wrong, like I said. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, the no, eh, okay. I actually thought about, I, I was saying this earlier where, you know, no should never be none, but I think if the root is none, then this is the, the only case where this is true. Um, so yeah, if root is, oops. If root is not none, then this. So that's a good test case, I guess. I, I just don't didn't know if the, the number of nodes could be zero, which I, I should have checked, to be honest. Uh, this looks good for now. Um, usually, I would probably come up with more test cases, but in the interest of time for this video and stuff like that, let's just give it a submit and then let them, you know, do it for us. Uh, and it looks good. Uh, cool. Um... Like I said, the, the extra space part is a little bit awkward because, as we said, we, we use recursion. I don't know that you... I'm not convinced that you can do it without O of H, where H is the height of the tree. Um, that's the stack depth. And in the worst case, it's going to be linear. For example, you have a linked list. You're given a linked list. You're going to get a linked list back, but it's going to be O of N. Um, and in terms of... Uh, you know, I mean, we, we modified the things in place other than the stack space, so everything will be all of one extra space except for the stack space. And in terms of time, we only look at each node once, and each node, for every time that we look at each node, we do all of one operations. So that means that it's going to be all of n time, which is linear time. Uh, I'm relatively happy about this. Um, yeah, but I'm going to see. Let, let's take a look at the. I don't know this extra space thing. They don't count stack space. Uh, okay, yeah, I mean, that's basically what I did. Uh, let's kind of take a look, as I say, because I'm curious whether you can do it in true over one extra space. Uh, I'm learning alongside you, so, you know. Uh, let's see. Ah, it's a medium. Seems harder than, for a medium, though. I mean, it's not hard, hard. It's just annoying implementation-wise. So th let's give it a spin. Ah, oh, there is a oh, one extra space. One. Let's see. Now, see, this is like recursion, right, as we talked about. So, like, it's going to uh, have stack space. This is way cleaner than my code. But like I said, I think I could have cleaned up my code. Um, but we just kind of, you know, like, uh, as I said, in the beginning, worry about, uh, I mean, this is this is definitely not all of one space. Oh, this, this, this didn't say there's all of one space because they just put in in a list, which is, you know, um, more is like Cherosho, okay. Um, okay, so I, I, this is the all of one space one with the most Cherosho-like thing, but I don't know, I'm not a fan of 
like I said, that's just so like, like such trivia. And what I mean by trivia is that like, if you don't know it, you're not going to like figure it out. Right. So for me, I would, as an interviewer, never ask these type of problems uh, because it doesn't, I mean, I would ask this one, but not expect the most uh, traversial answer because it's just like, if you don't know it, I don't know. Like if you know it, it doesn't tell me anything about your 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 problem solving skill, and if you don't know it, it also doesn't tell me anything about your problem solving skills, right? So, like that solution is not that interesting for me uh, as an interviewer. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this. Uh, let me know what you think. So, I guess there is the Morris one, but other than that, it's going to take all of H of N space. Um, I'm okay with that. But yeah, uh, all right, that's all I have. Stay good. Have a great weekend uh, for those celebrating it. Um, yeah. Uh, well, you know, uh, I, I'm going to, okay. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm going to butcher the, the saying. So, so, I'm, so yeah, just, you know, um, yeah. Uh, I also, just as a fun fact, if you're interested, if you're still here listening to me rambling, uh, I actually fast every year uh, on it as well. So, so it was great eating a lot, but yeah, uh, stay good, stay healthy, and I will see y'all tomorrow and during the weekend contest and all that stuff uh and yeah say good and to good mental health i'm a little bit weird right now uh bye bye